Welcome to another exciting week, our summer vlog. So other than VBS and youth camps, one of the things that I'm working on this summer is helping um, with some of the uh, kids camps. So we do uh, different camps throughout the week. We had creative arts camp, um, we're doing science camp. Uh, this week is cooking camp. Uh, we do this as an outreach to our students in the community. And today we're going on a tour of a local aquaponics farm, bringing 25 kids uh, to learn how food is grown, uh, what specifically how food is grown um, uh, in relationship with fish, uh, using the fish waste to grow food and things like that. So it should be really cool and I'm excited to see it and uh, see what the kids' response is. Getting a group of kids organized is very challenging. Mindy really does a really good job at it. That doesn't mean you have to hold your hand or stand right next to them all day. So we want to be careful that we don't stick this pipe here. The eggs go down the incubator down below there. Like these guys in here are up front. So the eggs, you take their eggs out of their mouth. Yeah. This is Future Foods Farms foraging field. They just kind of let everything grow wild here and just pick stuff for the restaurant. Really cool. Okay, so the aquaponics farm was totally awesome. I didn't get a chance that day to explain what aquaponics is if you don't know what it is. But an aquaponics farm is a farm that raises fish and produce at the same time. What they do is they take the waste from the fish, basically the fish poop, and the water that it lives in, and they pump it through to the vegetables, and it goes to the roots, and it fertilizes the vegetables. The cool thing about this farm, which I've never even heard about, is they don't even have to feed the fish. They raise duckweed, which is basically this invasive water weed that grows on top of the water. They have so much, they couldn't even get rid of it if they wanted to. That's what the fish eat. They raise tilapia, which um, is a vegetarian fish. So for me, I thought it was really cool. I'm kind of a fish nerd. Maybe you've seen this high-tech uh, planted tank in some of my videos. I even have compressed CO2 going into the tank, which helps the plants grow a lot better with this super cool high-tech light. Um, and that's how I'm able to get plants to grow really well in a small tank. So that's why it was so cool for me. If you're kind of a fish nerd like I am, give me a shout out or like in the comments. Now I'm off to go film the Faith in Whatever podcast. Uh, really excited about today. We have a guest uh, who works for Comic-Con and a blogger who writes for Attack of the Nerds. Um, so if you're into kind of Comic-Con and nerds, you definitely want to be checking out the Faith in Whatever podcast. But I'm leaving right during rush hour traffic. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so podcasts are filmed at uh, a friend of mine's recording studio called Marion Ranch Records. And uh, it's got a really cool place. Like to work on old cars, like that. And the uh, recording studio is in his converted garage. To our San Diego day. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun and it's bright and early. What is it like 7.15 still? Okay, so we made it exactly one block to get Starbucks. So we haven't gone very far, but once we get our Starbucks, we will be ready to go. Eva's already here. Isaac, are you pondering the so questions of the universe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ah. 
You guys ready for this beach day? Yeah. Epic beach day. Hold on. I'm about to. Is here a sweet prime? That's totally VIP parking right there. Look. There's the van and there's the beach. <laughs> the beach. I do need more Pokeballs. I'm out. Stupid Pokemon Go. Tell us about the sand, Sebastian. It feels like memory foam. Feels like memory foam. Pretty soft. Beautiful day at the beach. Not very crowded yet. It is Saturday though, so probably we'll get more crowded. So we'll get stake out a cool spot. Only here for 45 minutes and Isaac gets stung by a stingray, but he's been super tough about it. Because Isaac is hardcore. Got it. Isaac. Yeah. How you doing? I love this trip. <laughs> So, I went to go film some stingrays with the GoPro, and um, let's just say they were everywhere. So you probably just saw that footage anyway, so I don't know why I'm saying this, but this will be an interesting beach day. Uh, let's see how many people can get stung by stingrays. Whoever gets stung the most wins a prize. Oh. This is a sand crab. You guys have fun at the beach? Yeah. No. The we have sand in places yeah. sand does not want to be. No. I don't mind. That seems kind of normal for the beach. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, go to your Pokédex. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going the right so way now. Like Make sure you don't get hit by cars, honey Pokémon. Catch it. I only have two more left. No. Oh, oh God. I'll get more when I level up. Yeah, you do, like 15 more. Okay. When he evolves, it's like, it's triple the firepower since there's two more added. So we're here at the drive-in movie now. Can we play hide and seek? Um, just don't get hit by a car. There's our movie screen. This is Wait, just the Luke. Girl. I'm here. And uh, this is Luke's first drive-in movie. Ever, right? Yeah. Me too. Jane, what the heck? Because, you know her. She's favorite. She's got her own YouTube Look channel. Make sure you check it out. No, don't check that out. Uh, Look at my face. You don't vlog. You don't make up. MJ. And, like, Dude, I'll totally vlog. I'll throw a ball game. Right. Oh, oh, what is Snappy. Snappy. You need to find that. Bushy romantic. And gives me there because I'm. Drive a movie was fun. It's good. Was it good? You yeah. asked me. Yeah. That was great. That was a great movie. It was cute. Now it's 11 o'clock on a Saturday night and we're we got an hour drive ahead of us. And gotta get up early on Sunday.